Plastic bottle. Plastic waste. An ocean of plastic trash. Plastic. 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 Plastic, plastic is, uh, well, it's everywhere. Did you know that 500 billion pounds of plastic is manufactured each year or roughly 33% of that is single use and thrown away? Like something needs to be done. Polymer Recycling offers a promising solution to tackle growing waste crisis. Take pet bottles for example. They are chopped into manageable pieces, washed and transformed into various products like pet fibers for car mats and fabrics. The key here is the degradation is minimal, allowing us to seamlessly integrate the recycled pet into new items without compromising quality. Similarly, recycled high-density polyethylene or HDPE finds new life in garden furniture, buckets, and similar products. Now the next one is thermal degradation of polymers. This is a process that is distinct from the traditional polymer recycling method. Here. Waste polymers undergo pyrolysis, they undergo pyrolytic decomposition, resulting in diesel, kerosene, and synthetic gas. While thermal degradation is useful for dealing with waste, it is important to know that hydrogen is necessary for hydrogenation. This is a chemical reaction that occurs during thermal cleavage, which is thermal breakdown of polymer chains. It is needed to help prevent certain unwanted byproducts from farming during the heating process. Though it is still cheaper to make diesel from fossil fuel than from waste plastic, this has been getting traction in a lot of countries like the US, China, Germany and many more. Another intriguing approach to polymer recycling is depolymerization. This process breaks down waste polymers into their monomer components, which can then be used to synthesize new polymers, basically to go over the process of polymerization again. It's particularly suitable for polyesters, polycarbonates, polyamides, and even polystyrene. It requires high temperatures and efficient separation and purification methods. The polymerization is getting a lot of traction as a viable recycling method. I've seen companies like Ineos Tyrolution do this pretty well. Although this is a bit more ambitious from a technology point of view, the degree of you know freedom and the broadness of the applications are higher. And there you have it, polymer recycling. We've covered innovative recycling methods. Just remember, every step we take towards sustainable recycling practices brings us closer to a greener, cleaner future. Thank you very much for watching.